What are you doing? You shouldn't be straining like that. Ah, uh, you were gonna be my second phone call, I promise. How are you feeling? Pretty sore. Yeah, well, a stitched up lung will do that to you. You know, it is so damn frustrating being stuck in this bed. I want to get out there and figure out this case and what's going on. You're not going anywhere until the doctor says you're ready. Well, then I'll talk to Dr. Weber. He just performed major surgery on you. Well, I doubt he'll be cutting you any early releases. I'm a fast healer, Mac. Yeah, well, I hope so, because it's tough to run a department with you and Lucky out of commission. What were you talking about? Lucky turned in his badge. About the had to resign. I should be asking for your badge, too. What were you thinking, acting without authorization? Are you telling me you didn't, you didn't have the same idea? I wasn't the one who illegally entered the Corinthos Morgan warehouse. No, you're the one who went to Jason Morgan's wedding as a, as a guest because you had the idea that it was a good time for a rival organization to make a move, and they did. The question is who and why. I got people on this. You're not one of them. Come on, Mac. There's lots I can do from this hospital bed. You just got to keep me in the know. Look, I what, I want, know. what I want you to do from this hospital bed is get well as quickly as possible and keep that beautiful girlfriend of yours from worrying where she is. Me and Lulu, we, uh... Well, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Just hurry up and get back on your feet. You know, it's weird that... that warehouse was nothing out of place and... nothing was being stolen. Something was being left. A bomb. Yeah, Ronnie told me he said it was kid stuff. Ronnie should keep his mouth shut. Mac. I got a feeling there's more going on here. Leave it alone. Leave it, it alone, Falconary. All right, that's an order. Hey. I miss you. How did you sleep? Really good. Actually, I had this. Really cheesy dream that we're getting married. <clears throat> and then I wake up and realize it's actually happened. You're such a romantic. Yeah, you better get used to being with me for the rest of your life. <laughs> you thought of a date yet? I think we should focus on getting you out of the hospital instead of wedding. You know what? I'm going to be back home and on the job in no time. Is that Officer Padilla out there? Yeah. Could you run out and grab her for me? Why? Mac was just here, but he's <clears throat> stonewalling about this investigation. I want to see what she wait, knows. Wait, wait, wait. Are you seriously playing detective right now? Look, I want to find out who was in that warehouse and why the I got PCPD shot. The PCPD is your job, not your life. And you're not going to have a life if you're not able to make that distinction. Oh, yes, ma'am. No, I'm serious. Mac shouldn't be coming in here if he's going to make you worked up like this. Look, Mac told me my job was to rest and recuperate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thrilled, actually. I don't know if you're aware, but uh, you said that Lucky uh, came clean about his drug use and handed in his badge. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lucky actually told me the night that you were shot. That's gotta be rough. How is he? He's fine. What's, what's that? Something happened? What about? I'm gonna get into it. Well, you gotta get past this. He's your brother. You guys need each other right now. Well, <laughs> not as much as you needed him the night you were shot. He let you go alone. What happened is not his fault. You should have had a partner. We were off duty. All the more reason. Look, you guys knew that it was gonna be dangerous, and you thought that Sonny's enemies might take advantage during Jason's wedding, and they did. And you might not have been shot if Lucky had been there. Did, did he tell you that? That he blames himself for this? He should. Look, Lucky was in a bad way that night. He wanted to come with me. I insisted he stay out of it. What happened is not his fault. Then whose fault is it? I walked into a volatile situation. These things happen. There's no one to blame for it. Isn't there? You're right. You wanna you wanna blame someone? There, there, you blame the person in the warehouse, the other person who shot me. You saw him and told me what happened. I, just, I went in there to look around and heard a noise, like someone bolting for the door. You didn't see who? No, it was too dark. I told him to stop. I raised my gun, and next thing I know, I'm on the ground bleeding. You have no idea. No. 
lost consciousness. I opened my eyes, I was in the ER, and you were standing over me. They told me you almost bled to death. Almost being the operative word. I'm fine now. And none of this was Lucky's fault. He already blames himself what happened with Siobhan. I don't want him blaming himself for this. Yeah, but Lucky was wrong about a lot of things. Okay, I know you want to point the blame somewhere, but you love your brother. You have to talk to him and work it out. One. I told him that I thought he should be the one in the hospital bed instead of you. Whatever you said. I was worked up. I was worried about you. So you, you tell him that. And you, you say you're sorry and say that you cooled off. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't. I'm still upset. The only person who can fix that for you is Lucky himself. You gotta, you gotta talk to him. I wanna stop talking about Lucky. Okay. I don't wanna argue. No, either. I'm just grateful that you're alive. And I thought that I was going to lose you. But you didn't. I'm fine. And, and we're great. 